Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a stay-at-home dad and a part-time eBay reseller. And every 100 subscribers is a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. And speaking of subscriber giveaways, there will be a subscriber giveaway from the last video, the 2700 subscriber giveaway winner. At the end of this one, you will win $10 towards something in my store, plus a tip of the mitt flips merch bundle thank you to all the new subscribers and of course thank you to all the people that have stuck around through my craziness things have bounced back surprise surprise not surprised to me and i'm gonna start off today quickly and to the point with tip of the day and the tip of the day today is stay focused stay focused and don't freak out because there will be ebbs and flows in your sales due to mostly things outside your control. But what you shouldn't do is freak out, change a bunch of things, or think the world is falling. What you should do is continue to do the process that you know works over time. Expand your time horizon out a little further than the day right in front of you. Worst sales week of the year last week. And today I have 16 orders going out for a decent amount of money, plus, Pretty good TCG player orders. You should always have your tap dancing shoes on and be prepared to pivot. If sales slow down, look at the things you're listing currently. Maybe change what you're currently listing. Maybe run a sale, which that was one of the things I didn't mention before when I was talking about getting a store. The biggest benefits from the store, there's the savings from your fees but you get to do things like run sales. You can use, I think, vacation mode where you can turn your store off if you go on vacation or take a break or get sick. I think that you have to have a store for. Those things are very useful, especially the, the running sales. I run sales 95% of the time my store is active, which from the day my store opened has never been inactive. So I don't know why I even said it that way. That's a big one for me, being able to run sales. But if things slow down, just take a breath continue with the process. It should correct itself. Sometimes I know it feels like it won't, but freaking out won't help it even if it doesn't correct itself. So stay calm, assess the situation, decide if there's any changes that need to be made. And in most cases, there's not. You just continue with the process, work through the lulls, and come out the other side better Hopefully. First thing going out is a 1990 Mackinac Island Fort Mackinac, I think, pamphlet. There's two, two forts, two historical forts. One is on Mackinac Island, one is in Mackinac City, and it, one is Fort Mackinac, and one of them is Fort Michela Mackinac. I'm not sure which is which, but this just looks like it's a Mackinac Island Visitor's Guide. But this is vintage from 1990. I think this is the exact same one they still print. I don't think this is anything new or special. I had it sitting around. I think it was in a pile of books I had. I'm remembering it two different ways, so I'm not really sure. Either there was none listed or there was none listed from specifically the year 1990. And so I listed it. Took up no space. Sat for quite a while. Over a year but I was waiting for one buyer. That's not something you should do if you have 25 items in your store. Pass. You should be selling things with 100% sell-through rate, 150% sell-through rate, not a 0% sell-through rate where you're hoping somewhere in time, one person out of the world will want your item. That's something you can do once you have a fully functioning store and you have a little add-ons that possibly sell throughout time as long as they don't cost you any money and they don't take up any space. Those are two huge things for those taking a shot, maybe somebody will buy this items. For that, 1043 free shipping, and that should ship media mail. I will ship it media mail, just not sure if eBay will let me. I don't know how they do it with pamphlets if they consider that media, but if not, I will go outside of eBay to pirate ship. I don't think it has any advertisement on it. Could for like a local restaurant or something but it doesn't seem to be sponsored in any way. Nope, no advertisement, so good to go. Next up, it's a jewel pop. See, is it my favorite person in the world? Nope, different person, all right. I think she has maxed out her, the lady that was buying all those jewel pops. I think she's either gotten all the ones she wanted or maxed out her budget. Either way, I'm still thankful that she existed. What which one is it? A3, oh, all the way in the bottom. All right, A3 is Hoppy, Easter, Chameleon, Jewel Pop, Enamel, and Silver. Get a little closer there. 
Uh, if I can try. Yeah, a cute little bunny. And for that on sale, $34.79 plus sold. This is dangerous. Plus sold promoted listing of 2.1%. So I ran a pretty aggressive sale over the weekend. I think 14%, 13%. That's not that aggressive, but I usually don't go much higher than 10, but it was a bad sales week. So that was something I did. I bumped up my sale percentage a couple percents, a couple percents, a couple percentage points. So that was about 15% off on that one. Still great. I'm in the profits. Everyone from here on out is profit. Next up is a viewer sale. And this was, this is the same buyer that a few videos ago, I just, it seemed like they had to be a viewer because the stuff they bought was, they just didn't match. It was, it didn't seem like a normal shopping trip, but they did con confirm Living Pretty is their eBay, st eBay name. Danica actually has three items going out today. Danica, thank you so much. I appreciate all the purchases. I will throw in another... I threw in a, a sticker last time. I'll throw in a magnet this time. First thing on that order is B3C is a silver tone letter opener. B3C. It is, I assume, I'll double check closer when I go to pack, this one right here, which unbranded, just a, a nice quality letter opener. And for that, $12 free shipping. And then the next thing, C, uh, C5, I need to clean my phone. Don't let a toddler touch your phone, it'll end up disgusting. C5 is a game. I didn't even look at the name. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't think it's even on C5, I think it's B5. I think it's this one, Cross Up Poker. And it is this Cross Up Poker game from Milton Bradley. And for that item, $8.99 plus shipping. And then next up, it's a tie tack in my pins and tie tack and little littles container here, which I at one point mistakenly labeled as B3D. So I have two B3D locations, but it's easy to tell the difference. B3D9, because I'll have a secondary number. And it is this tie tack that says DJ. So I wonder if you're a DJ or Maybe you have a relative with the initials DJ. I don't know, but that's a nice tie tack. Gold tone, monogram, lapel tie tack, which I think lapel was just a keyword that got thrown in because of course it's not for your lapel, the tie tack. I guess you could just use the tack as like a pin. You could if you desired. And for that, $7.99 free shipping. And I get to combine shipping on all those. So I save money, therefore make more money, more money, more money. And I'm sorry if you hear laundry being done. Laundry's gotta get done, laundry's gotta get done. Next up, this one just, it was time. It needed to go. C5 is a a lot of blank cassette tapes. C, one, two, three, four, five. There was a time period where you could get a decent amount of money for individual tapes. But now if they're not the, what's it called? Metal, metal something. Let me look it up real quick, just to be sure. The metal biased tapes. Those, I mean, individual prices, you're talking for some of them, 20 bucks a pop. So look out for those. I'll put a couple pictures up just so you can kind of get a feel for it. They tend to have a gold label no matter what the brand is, but that's not always true. And then there is one company that I think they're, I think they're labeling is gold and black. So don't, that's not the end all be all, but the metal ones and the high bias tapes, you can even sell them used and make okay money if you sell them in lots. But for this lot of tapes, which I will, I'll rebox them because regional doesn't exist anymore. And when I box this up, regional did still exist, even though this wouldn't have made it because it's bulging. And my post office is pretty particular about your flat rate and regional boxes. If they bulge at all, they will not give you the rate. They will upcharge you to the dimensional charges for USPS. For those, I got $40 plus shipping. There's 47 of them in there. And some of them are real, real chintzy cheap ones. But I think when I first listened, like, I don't know. 60 bucks plus ship, some, somewhere in that range. There are people that would ship this media mail. You cannot ship blank media, media mail, because there's no media on the media. Do I think that's silly? Sure. Is it the law? Not the law. Is it the rule? Yes. Is it the policy? Yes. Can they open it and then charge you more money? Yes. 
Do they check media mail? Sometimes. Specifically, this one I, I hadn't thought of before, but a viewer uh, mentioned this a while back, it's worth mentioning again, that they sent a media mail item, I don't know, book, whatever, doesn't really matter what it was, a legitimate one, eh, that's a lowball offer, I'm not accepting that, but they put in their business card with the media, because they just do that with all of their items, and because that is advertisement, you added advertisement to something that didn't have advertisement, because that's a big one. That's why most comic books you can't send media mail, but graphic novels you can. They added advertisement to it, and then therefore got upcharged to probably first class at the time, because this was a while back. So if business cards are something you do, don't put it in your media mail items. Next up, A2 is a... I don't know if it's... Bu I think it's Buscelli, but it could be Bukelli. It's a card holder, or was it... A stocking. I think it's a stocking. It was a snowman. So yeah, it's gotta be this one. Buscelli snowman felt stocking kit. I got this at the church sale from the beginning of the summer. So I don't know what I paid for it. Very little because I paid $91 or $92 for a lot of items. For that, accepted an offer. And I think I had it $24.99. I had it priced up a little bit higher, but sales weren't going great. And that's still... I'm, I'm taking those profits. $18 free shipping. I love selling these, like the cross stitch kits and these. They're not all worth a ton of money, but they're just, they take up so little space. They're so easy to list. Most of them have a barcode and then you just chuck it in a bag. If the packing instructions for it are chuck it in a poly bag, I love to list. Next up, C1A is uh, two McDonald's toys. The Country Bears, C. 1A, oh, down in the bucket. That's a couple times in C1A over the last few videos. It had been a, a ghost town over here for a while. All right, it's gotta be way down on the bottom or something. Here we go, I see a bear. I see a country bear. There's one and two. And the two country bear plush McDonald's toys for the pair of those, 869 free shipping. Not a lot of money. I got a bunch of new in package uh, McDonald's toys from my friend Jordan a while back. I should have done a lot more large lots of like mixed lots, but I kind of, I, I just, I kind of just listed them all. I just, that's what I did. So I'm not making a lot of money on that, but still some profits. Again, not something I would suggest the starter store, the beginning seller to sell because the amount of time and effort it goes it takes for you to list those and do all that is not worth the profits. But for me, when I'm processing, it was a laundry basket full. Uh, when I'm processing, whatever, 100 items, the one that I'm going to make 50 cents on and the one that I'm going to make $5 on, $10 on, it, they all add up together as a total. And if I'm in the process, I'm fast at listing. This is one of those items where I'm taking four pictures tops, you know, maybe one together and then one individual and then one of the backs like this. And when I'm in the process and I'm doing 25 listings of the same type of item and it's just repeating, like if I'm listing a bunch of books, I'm still gonna list the low dollar one because I'm in that mode, I'm listing it. Once I've looked it up to see if it's worth listing, it's really only a couple of clicks until I have it live and I have a fully functioning store that sometimes that 50 cents, if I sell a hundred items over the year that are, I'm making 50 cents in profit, it's a, it's a little extra. But for the, again, if you have 25 items in your store, don't make that be one of them. Next up, A5, and excuse my voice, I filmed a video right before this one and my voice is almost completely gone. Uh, A5 is a Pyrex turquoise bowl. A, one, two, three, four, five. I got this at the beginning of the summer. It's really in fantastic shape, except for this mark. And I tried a little bit to get it off of there, but I just, I don't know, I couldn't do it. And the, the coloring was so good, I didn't want to do anything more aggressive and risk messing it up. I mean, look at the inside. That's just never been used. I don't know. For that right there... $24.99 plus shipping. I think I had it listed maybe $29.99, $27.99, something like that. I sent out an offer on that. Next up, it's a book. My Life, the hardcover by Golda Meir, Golda Meir, Golda Meyer, 
something like that. And for that book right there, 1547 free shipping. That will of course go media mail. I paid zero dollars for that and that sold on a some percentage sale and a 10 to 14 percent sale i don't know what day it was on so what sale was running eh, i don't know next up b3f is a tic-tac-toe from radica it's a little handheld game this one right here I don't know where I get this. I'm going to guess this was in a Mikhail mystery box, but I don't know, so I can't say that. But something like this, I'm paying less than a dollar to free. If that's at a garage sale, I'm not paying 50 cents for it. If it's in a free box, I'm picking it up. So that's why my guess is a Mikhail mystery box, but I don't know. And another one of those items, $8.59 free shipping. If you are a, a new store, if you have less than a thousand items in your store, don't sell stuff like this. For you, it is not worth time. For you, the time it takes you to list that, you should be finding better stuff or researching better stuff so that the next time you go out and look, you will find better stuff. Next up, I don't have a label. I don't have a, a SKU number, but it's sockets. So I'm assuming it's in the socket case, I hope. It's a set of Napa sockets. And if it's not in here, I'm in trouble. I'm talking trouble because I don't have a clue where else it would be. All right, it was definitely in there. Sock 14. I just somehow didn't end up putting a SKU number in. But uh, this set of sockets right here, $14.99 free shipping. And I've only got five or six um, sockets left in there. Those are... It was mostly empty bags. So that means I do need to get to listing those sockets, but... You know, you can't list everything at the same time. Next up, it's a pattern. Pat 11 is Simplicity 3573 Pat. And you see, I do have a second box filled up and I have a third one almost done. And then I, what did I say? Pat 11, let's take a guess. 15, 12, Pat 11. It's number 3573 and it's like uh, pajamas and nightgowns. And this one, I didn't even answer the message. It really just... It annoyed me because I gave him a pretty good deal. Gave him like three bucks off or four bucks off. $12 free shipping. The patterns, of course, have already paid for themselves because I paid almost nothing for all of them. And for a lot of them, I did pay nothing. But in the title, the first three words, well, one's a number, but simplicity, the brand, 3573. Then the next word is uncut. They messaged me and said, is this one uncut? Come on. I know you read the title. You had to. Did you just get to the word? You just read the first word in the number and that's as far as your eyes went? I'm assuming, you know, I'm assuming that they have ordered one that was said it was uncut and then received one that wasn't. And so they wanted to double check. But I was, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to answer that. And then they did also in that message say to put a cardboard backer with it because their carrier is particularly rough with their packages. And you can't really... I mean, you can hurt it, but I, I guess I could see why you wouldn't you wouldn't want a bunch of creases in it because when that you're laying it out, you know, if there's a bunch of creases, it's going to make your lines off. I understand. I'll do it because it's easy and it won't affect the shipping cost. But if it was going to affect the shipping cost, I probably I probably wouldn't because it's I mean, you'd have to really beat beat it up to really affect it. Even if you're just dumping it around and stuff. I mean, it's pretty thick. I don't know. I'll do it because they asked and it's no problem of mine. I have scraps of cardboard that I have sitting around for that purpose. Whenever I cut off a big enough scrap that I think could be useful, I chuck it to the side because why not? And then next up is actually another pattern. Pat 59, which this is only through 57, which means it's in the box I'm currently processing upstairs. So let me run in, grab that real quick. All right, here it is. Pat 59 uh, is a very easy, very Vogue 7370. And this one is also like, a, I don't want to say these are nightgowns. Those seem more like dresses, but they do kind of have the same vibe. I did notice the box I was going through, the first box I processed, which I just finished today, they were all in the large to 2xl so i don't know if that will matter as far as sales go i really don't know i'm learning on the fly and if you're going to learn on the fly 
spending zero dollars to do that is the best way to do it. For that one, I took a significant offer. It was $14.99, $11 free shipping. I'm okay with that, taking the profits, moving along with my day. Man, sales just keep coming. Not complaining, just running out of breath. D1 Columbia Boots. D1 Columbia Boots. Oh, D1, not even close. I was looking at C6. And D1 is over here. D1. Oh, they must have a box. Okay. They do. And actually, this, I keep forgetting I want to redo this listing. I did like a bulk, like boho chic knobs type of listing, thinking somebody doing like a, you know, a creative project and wanted mixed cool looking knobs, but it gets no traffic. So I definitely was wrong on that plan. This is not a great place to put a big box. All right. Ugh. Okay, Columbia Ice Maiden 2 boots. And these are new with tag, in box. I honestly have no idea where I got those or how much I paid. Just not a clue. $45 plus shipping and sold via Promotus. That's an additional 2.1% off of that. The buyer sent me a message with it saying, I can get these off Amazon for da 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 amount of money. So my offer of $45 is the only way that it makes sense for me to get them from you instead of there. Their message meant nothing to me because they could be a liar. I don't care. And I didn't read the message until after I accepted the offer. What I did is when the offer came in is I went back to double check if they could get this same pair on eBay and if they could, how much money it would cost them and the other listing with the shipping that they had, which was extreme, like $25 in shipping, like $47 would have been the, the, the price. So for their, their price to be 45, I said, okay, yeah, that's a fair offer. That's $2 less than the other pair that was available. I'm gonna give a $2 discount so that they buy mine instead of theirs every time if it's a $45 item. Now, not knowing how much I paid for it would make it a little, different, except for the fact that I know I would never pay some extravagant amount of money. I mean, even if I bought those at a, a local thrift store, 10 bucks is the cap. I'm not paying more than that. Maybe even $15. And this is a total guess, but just knowing myself, I would never pay more than about $15 for that, even with the box, even being new. So still profits and I'm happy with it. And it's starting to get warm in here. Turn the fan off and then it heats up. Good job, Drew. Next up and last thing going out, it's a book, The Movies. It's a book called The Movies. Lillian Gish, The Movies, Mr. Griffith and Me. That is a mouthful. That is a cross-eyed looking lady there. This book right here, again, cost of goods zero. And I, it was, no, not an offer. On sale, $17.19 free shipping and that will Go media mail. Oh yes, and I almost forgot. I have three TCG player orders going out for approximately mm, $150 in profits. Chiching, chiching, chiching. The one card sold for $150, $148.99, something like that. And if any of you remember back, Michael and I, we did like a little father-son staycation type of thing. My dad was out of town, so we took over his house had pizza and opened some Pokemon cards. And one of the cards we opened was the chase card from that set. And that's that's the one that sold. Unfortunately, I had priced it like 10% above market value because its trajectory at the time was heading up. It had reversed since then. And so if I had just listed it at market value the day I listed it, I would have made about $20 more. That's, a, that's the risk you take. And I could have just held out. I could have just said, okay, I'll just wait and wait six months to a year. Maybe just wait till Christmas time and the market could turn back and I would have made that extra 20 bucks back. But I'm not mad about, let's see, the box we opened cost probably 40 bucks because I, I bought it in a bundle deal um, on a di for a discount. And then there was, of course, other cards and we did make other money out of that box. So overall it was probably $150 in profit, somewhere somewhere in that range. It was a good box opening experience. Not what you should expect when opening it. Also, it was, a if anybody remembers, or those that weren't here yet, it was this set 
this silver Tempest set, and I bought one to replace it. It was this one of these uh, elite trainer boxes, and it was sitting in this spot for like nine months, six months, something like that, before I pulled it off the shelf for us to open. So <laughs> I had it just sitting here. I had a big money car just sitting here the whole time. That's how they get you. You One time you pull that car and you go, oh, but what if there's money in these other ones? I better open them. That's how they get you. And my golf season officially has come to an end. So Mondays will no longer be a hectic nightmare for me trying to get orders out on time. Unfortunately, my partner was not able to make the um, position night, so we had to have a sub. A sub who has no skin in the game as far as the winnings and the work you put in over the season doesn't really care about the scores, so that was not helpful to us. We were hoping this would be our first year to finish in the top 10. That did not happen. I played a not up to my best, which the week before, I don't know if I mentioned anybody, I shot my best round of my entire life. I shot a 47, nine holes, which, you know, doesn't sound that great to some people, but I had ne my best before that was a 49, uh, and I only shot a 50 one other time besides that. So 47 was amazing. This week I did not do that. And so we ended up in 12th place, which every year we have finished between 12th and 14th place. I guess that's that's just who we are. Future Drew here almost forgot to put the winner in this video, so let's go ahead and see who won the 2700 subscriber uh, giveaway so that I can go mow the lawn, cook the dinner, do all the things. We've got 49 unique comments. Thank you to everyone who entered, and let's go ahead and see who won. Angela Sanborn, $20 free ship, and I had asked for the price of that Gatorade bottle. Most of you were very on point. It is right around that $20 free shipping range. I'll probably price mine, because there's not a ton for sale, $24.99 free shipping, because I continuously run 10% sales and I take offers. So you never want to price it at the price you want, a little above, so it looks better to the buyer. Congratulations, Angela. Reach out to me through either the Facebook group or Instagram, and I'll get you your $10 towards something in my store and your tip of the Mitt Flips merch bundle. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other. Just really neat. Hey, do they do they ever you know, really fix things? I have no idea what this is. What do I care? Let's go. I'm good at this.